Hi, I wasn't going to make any more videos of my washing machine as I've made so many already but somebody wanted to see my washing machine on a refresh 9 which is number 7. Before I do that, because it's not going to be on for very long, I'll show you the other washers as well. So I'm just going to put the machine on and I can show you the temperatures and the cycles. Have on a minute. Right. I've posted quite a lot of um, my washing machines online so you can check out them anyway. So I'm going to put this off and start this off again so you can see it. Right, I'm leaving the door open, I've got to load in, so I'm going to go through all of the cycles, starting on number one, which I've never used this one, I, know, I never need to. Right, number one. Now that should be a 40 temperature, which it is. I can also switch it to 30, 20, that, or back to 40, which is for the anti-sting. Then the whites for number two will be a 60. You can see the time is coming up as 2 hours and 28, but obviously I press that once and it halves the time. Now temperature should be um, 60 on whites, but it's showing 40. There's my 60, so I've got options there as well for that load. Number three will be, be the cotton standard 60. Temperature, oh, then it's so I'm going to be on for three hours and 35 minutes, so I press that once and it halves it again. Temperature is 60 anyway, or I can knock it to that, 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 that. I think it's off, that's where I found the 90. The 90 and the 70 is only on the cotton standard 60 wash number 3. So I'll show you that again. It's on a, it's on 70 anyway minute, but I'll start again. It's on a 60, number 3, cotton standard 60. It only shows up on number 3. I've done a video on this and I've done a cycle with it because we couldn't find the 90 wash or the 70 wash for ages. Somebody posted on one of my videos, um, which was a lady, and she said, try number three, look for the, for the 90 and that's where it will be. So again, thanks to her, that's how I found it. So, I press this, it's on the cotton standard 60s, as, as I was saying. Then I've got that option for it. And I thought, you know, you don't do any more, then it's finished. And then you find the 90 and the 70. So it's hidden, basically. As I explained on my other video. Right, number four will be a cotton standard 40. As you can see, it's already on there. That'll be for three hours and five minutes, but you press that once and it halves it. Now every time you get whatever cycle and it goes to two hours and something or three hours and something, press that once, it halves it. If you press it for five seconds, it goes to auto clean or something else. 
got the 40, I can change it to 30, 20. There's no 90 or 70 in this one, only on the Cotton Standard 60 number 3 of the Hot Point washing machine, which this one is. Right, number 5. Cotton Standard 20. And that's 2 hours and 55. Press that once, half set. Give you an example. Press it once. It's 1 hour 25 now. Temperature should be 20 because it's a cotton standard 20. And that's all that one will do. The others had options, that one doesn't. Synthetics I've never used. Number six. That's also um it's not a twenty. Synthetics is on a sixty. But it's showing twenty because you probably got from the last one I was doing. So there's my sixty, so that's what I put that on. I can change it to um, that for synthetics. That, that, that. That's it. Uh, number seven, which I'll be using later. It's only on for nine minutes. Temperature, don't have a choice on that one. So we don't have nothing. Number eight, mix wash 15 minutes. I use that quite often. Temperature. 30, 20, and that's it. Number 9, fast wash 30, I use quite regular. That's not on for 15 minutes because it keeps it in the memory from the other one. Right, so that'll be fast wash 30, on 30 obviously. 20, I, I can have it on that, and that's it. Number 10 will be fast wash, fast wash 60, sorry. That one. That's on for an hour. There's my 60, but I can change it to that. Let's do that again because my phone went a bit funny. Fast wash 60, but I can take it to 50, 40, 30, 20. Never use the uh, anti allergy 60, number 11. Never needed to. So I don't know what that one does. Example again, that's on for 2 hours 22 minutes if I used it, which I never, I never have. Press it once. Oh, this one doesn't do anything. It has to be 2 hours and 22. Okay, because it's, it's bleeping, it says you can't. Fair enough. So that would be um, anti allergy on a 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Obviously, you can't cut the time in half for that. It would be 2 hours and 20 odd minutes. Number 12, shirts on 40, which I do use. That's 1 hour 15, temperature should be 40, but I can change it to 30, 20, option. Um, number 13 will be the wool, that's on a 40, 30, 20. Number 14 for delicates, which is the last one, which is 30. And that's on for one hour and 18 minutes, as you can see. Temperature should be 30 for delicates, which it is. And I can change it to 20 if I wish. Right. I'm going to put it on number 7. 
and I'm doing the refresh number nine today for nine minutes so we're not going to be long there now you can't I don't think you can change this I'll check no I can't not for the refresh but you can for other washes as I said everything is online with my videos I will be doing another wash someone asked me to put powder in the washing machine again and do a full load on a normal wash so when I have time and chance to do it I will and break that video up because I said it takes a long time to sort this out all the time I've, I'm only filming on the iPhone and doesn't hold a lot of memory so I'm gonna shut the door bit of powder's left which I'll add up I'll put a little bit more in anyway it'll be fine it always goes anyway eventually Put a bit less in today. Now that does eventually go because I put on a ref uh, refresh wash yesterday, and it's not not on for very long, so it's always going to be a little bit of powder in there. So I'll just put a little bit in. Doesn't matter if it's a bit left because when you put it on a normal wash, it'll all soon go anyway. So that's not a problem. I never me uh, measure my comfort. Put it in here because it's easier for me to pour. I always have a rough idea of what I want to put in. So we're going to fill them for nine minutes now. Nice little action on the door. So this is my replacement. Everything is online. And we're going to switch on. I'm not going to speak because I'm just going to do the nine minutes without speaking. If you want to check out any of my other videos, everything is online about the replacement one. Um, this one, if this is an 8K drum, um, I had this from Arg um, Argos. I did have this in, as a Lucy before this. Had it for about six, seven years, no problem at all with it. As I said in my other videos, um, the spin, it would spin and the clothes would still be wet. So that's basically went it wasn't worth repairing, it was cheaper to get a new machine. Um, this one was about 330 or something like that. Um, I went went for a 7k drum and they didn't have any left. And fair play to Argos, they gave me an upgrade, a four, which would, be, would have been an extra £40 for completely nothing, which is good of them. So I had an 8k drum for free because there was no 7k drums left in the, in the factory. So I was very lucky with that. Mine's on the board because my floor is out. That's the only reason. So. So spin. I got these um, options on a refresh 9. So I'll do it for the 800 because I have the towel in there. Now, towels and other things usually go on a good wash, but these are not even dirty, they just need freshening up. So that's why they're going on a refresh line today. For nine minutes, I meant to say. Right, machine will, um, is flashing. As you can see, we'll do a little click and then let's do this thing. I'm not going to speak now for you to um, watch the machine. I didn't realise um, how, ma how many people looked at it. Uh, machines with YouTube it's unbelievable and I've uh, had so many comments on mine and learned so much about my machine it's been uh, great thank you very much so you know if you want to check my other stuff out with the other washes and stuff you know please do so so as I said I'm not going to speak now we've got nine minutes of the cycle to go through okay and it's on um Eight hundred spin. Don't see the point of having it on lower spins today because I've got a towel in there. I need to get that sorted out. So it'll be a bit wet. Right. Um. Here we are. It's on uh, normal. Like I said, with a refresh, you don't have a choice. I mean, you don't need intensive. You don't need delicate. It's normal anyway. Right.
also when I've used the refresh now, uh, number seven on the hot car washing machine, I've uh, noticed um, a lot of soapy suds have come and uh, it's still left with the wash. So all I've done is just put it on again and it sorts it all out obviously because there's too much, too much powder left in the um, tray. You just put it on uh, again for another nine minutes and it'll sort itself out. Don't worry if there's any powder as I said left in the uh, tray because when you put down the normal wash that lots and go anyway, just add a little bit and let it do so uh, you do a proper cycle and it should be fine. So I can take all of this because uh, it's not on for long, I did put a layer of extra in from the round yesterday. This would have also gone on a uh, mix wash as well, and that would have been 15 minutes. And we'll spin on 800 today. See how much powder in the machine today. That's a two of them. See, there's still a bit left in there. You know, what, you know I added a little bit, so that's left from before, or from last night actually. So that will be taken in a proper main wash when I do that in a week. That's no problem. In four minutes. Like I said, I wasn't going to post so many videos, it's going get, to be like a mini movie now. There's uh, so many of them. So. And somebody asked, so I, I've done it again. There's not much to see, it's just a re uh, refresh wash. You can't do much with the washing machine, you just pick a cycle and you know what it's going to do. You can work the rest out yourself by learning what you have the machine or, you know, a different machine, a different model machine, whatever one you have. I'm very happy with my machine. It's, uh, it's a crafting one. As I said in my first post, uh, this is a replacement because the first one was a bit tinny on the inside and I uh, only had it uh, two days. I was going to get a repair man out to look at it and thanks to Argos, um, this will be 35 day wait and he changed it within a week and I uh, couldn't believe that and I've had no problems with this uh, replacement at all. Never had such a big drum. I didn't see any different to the other drums I've had. I mean, I started off years ago. I think I don't know if I'm correct. It was three point five drum. Because I started off years ago. If that's correct. And then I went up then to a six k drum, I think. And then it was a seven k drum, which I would have had again, but they didn't have any. And now I'm on an eight k drum. And it's the same thing. Just to be able to put a little bit extra washing on. So I don't uh, find it a problem. Also, always keep your door open when your machine's not in use. I learned that from my Zinc C that I shut the door and I had mildew around um, the rim, which is a common problem. You do forget. I used um, soda crystals to clean and scrub around here, and they did come off quite clean best I, I could and I used them instead of washing powder and I put that on an auto clean on the old machine which is in Lucy which is also still online. Now when this needs a good auto clean because it doesn't need it yet it's a new machine it's only about a month old I will be using soda crystals instead of washing powder putting it on an auto clean and giving the machine a good clean I don't like to use the lower temperatures too much because it messes up the machine 
I'd rather use um, hot washes if I could because it was you know it would smell and uh, it won't be nice so I've noticed I've used a lot of uh, I tried using lots of um, lower washes before and uh, it's alright but I prefer to uh, use a 60 or well obviously a 60 but also not powder 90 I can also use that as well or a 70 of course which is only the 90 and the 70 they're only on the cotton standard 60 which is number 3 of the hot pot Four minutes spinning eight hundred. It's pretty quiet machine as well. I've never talked so much on my washing machines. The first for me. So I hope my videos are okay. I usually take my cats and other things, not washing machines. I've also been um, making smoothies. You can check uh, that out online as well. I haven't made any new ones recently, but I will be soon. And I will, um, Chris, Christopher, do a main, a full load with a main wash, and I will get that up as soon as I possibly can for you. Three minutes. I don't have to put the washing machine on for another nine minutes after this as you can see it's uh, not much uh, washing powder in the front of it. Otherwise I would just knock this video off and then I just do the wash again and it'll be fine on second one. Right, two minutes to go. There's a little click at the end, like it does at the beginning, and then it shows the end sign when we're done. Also, like I said before as well, my Zenusi um, washing machine, which is gone now, it's still, it's still online. I had that with um, Tesco's Direct. Had very good service with them and good delivery. And I've gone with Argos now. And they've also had good service with them and also good delivery. So I can't fault either of them. Well that's it. Let's go check. I didn't want to do it on the lower spin because I have a towel in there and it's quite a, you know, like the beach towel I've got here and as you can see if I squeeze it, it's not even soaking on the floor. Oh, I'll try that again. So this is wash nice and so all it needed today. Nope. Dry, well, not dry, obviously damp, but you know what I'm trying to say. That's it. So that's it. We've done a refresh, uh, refresh, and um, wash on number seven. I've taken you through all of the, the board, so you can see what the temperatures will do. Obviously you've got these as well, obviously, everyone has. I don't need to use the child lock, my son's 29. And that's about it really. If you press this once, then it will cut your washing in 
in half in this time but if you press it let me do it quickly if I can do it let's put this off and show you quick give you an example right if I press that it won't do anything because the door's open but if I did the five seconds I won't let me do it oh it does goes to auto clean for one hour and ten minutes so do that again my child lock came on then but uh, it's gone off now press that five seconds goes to auto clean that will take you maybe to a 90 wash you put washing powder in or you just put um, soda crystals in with no claws and it will clean your machine great I've used it in the past for my other machines and that's been great cleans it lovely so I'm going to do one more video maybe sometime next week with the main wash with a full load and um, that's all I'm going to be doing then so thank you if you view I hope this one's okay we spare the moment to do this video today so I'm not going to do any more so that's it. So thanks if you look and uh, bye. Hi, thanks for viewing my videos. It's much appreciated. If you'd like to leave any comments, please make sure you post them below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much. Bye.